Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another motivational cleaning video. Today I'm sharing my updated laundry routine. One of my new year resolutions was to do laundry more often to avoid having to spend so much time doing it all at once, but I just cannot get a hold of it. This week, the little ones have been homesick with pink eye and the cold slash flu. I haven't been feeling well either. I have inspections coming up. Girl, it's just a lot. In this video, I'm washing all the clothing, bedding, and linens. I'm showing you my settings and products. I'm also using my new steamer for the first time on the kids' uniforms, and I love it. Of course, I'm going to be folding. I know you guys love when I fold. If you enjoy motivational cleaning videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any more of my future uploads. And with all that said, let's get started. The first thing I'm doing is collecting all of the laundry from my bathroom into this hallway right by the laundry room so I can sort everything into piles, colors, slash darks, whites, lights, towels, our jackets, and bedding. I'm using Tide Free and Clear Laundry Detergent Pods. This duvet insert is from my bed. I changed my bedding the day I found out Amir had pink eye, so I'm using some Lysol laundry additive to make sure it's extra clean. I have my machine set to heavy duty, hot water, high spin, heavy soil level, and an extra rinse. In my room, I'm doing a quick tidy, just making my bed and picking things up from getting ready this morning so I can use my bed to fold on. My daughter's mattress is in here on the floor because this is where she sleeps when Ruby's not with us on weekends. She also hasn't been feeling well, so I like to keep her next to me in case she needs me in the middle of the night. The pile of linens on my chair are clean. I grabbed the pillow inserts from there and put them back on before I just put the regular case on it because they weren't clean yet. I'm wiping down surfaces with this home made simple cleaner in the lavender scent. For glass, I use rubbing alcohol. Also, I get a lot of questions about my vanity. It's from Birch Lane. However, I notice it is not on the website anymore. I've searched for it by name and can't find it. If I find something similar close to its price range, I'll let you guys know. Just as I was going to start folding laundry, my washer machine stopped. I'm putting my duvet insert in the dryer and taking out some cleaning cloths I washed prior out of the dryer. Then I'm headed back into my room to fold the first of many loads of laundry.
this is all the laundry that was in the kids room in Ruby's bed. It's been there for days. I'm sorting everything by person and folding by person. This makes it easier for me to put away. At this moment, I realized I did not start another load. Back in the laundry room to throw in the kids, backpacks and lunch bags. I do this once a week because I'm realizing how dirty school is. Poor Amir caught just about everything that goes around his classroom. There's always kids and teachers out sick. Makes me wanna go deep clean the classroom myself. But anyways, for stains, I use this method stain remover and some OxyClean. I wash on normal hot water, high spin and a normal soil level. Back in my room, I grabbed some white plastic hangers and asked Ruby to bring me some metal ones for hanging pants. You'll see why I use metal hangers for pants now when I start seaming. The first pile is all Amir's clothing and then Sultan's and Ruby's. It looks like it disappears, but I actually set it on my dresser so I have room to fold. Now I have all the clothing in the basket ready to put away, some things that need to be hung but everything is organized by person so I'm not going back and forth. Over here I have my kids uniform set aside so I can seam them all at once. My steamer is from Amazon, Shea Whitney here on YouTube, she has like a fashion channel. She talks about this steamer in her videos and swears by it so I bought it. Shout out to her because it's literally life changing. I have a handheld steamer but it isn't ideal for steaming all of my kids uniforms because the cartridge is so small and I have to hold them up the entire time. This one has a much larger cartridge and settings based on what you're steaming. I can adjust the height so if I want to sit and do this I can. The only thing I don't like is the hanger thing that it comes with. It's flappy and kind of useless in my opinion unless I'm using it wrong. I prefer the metal hangers for this. I'm holding the clothing taunt so it gets as straight as possible. Be careful when using a steamer, it's extremely hot. I need gloves to protect my hands. My little pink latex gloves, they won't cut it. I need silicone ones. Otherwise, I love it and recommend it. I'll leave it linked in the description for you guys. I'm setting out the kids' bags to air dry overnight and getting my duvet out of the dryer. It wasn't completely dry, slightly damp, but I won't spin it again. I just hang it somewhere so it can dry. Also, because I need to keep the process going as I have about three more loads of laundry to get done. Next, I'm starting my light load, which are just colors that are like pink, yellows, light blues, grays, tans. I meant to wash this on warm but realized it was on hot when it was too late but the clothes were fine either way. This is the next day. I washed all of the towels that night on the same setting I used for my duvet. So I'm going to start with folding these. The clothes in the basket are not put away yet. The clothing that I stained before I just put in my closet because I still have to lightly organize the kids closets before putting everything in. And there's two big loads of clothing left to fold so I might as well do it all at the same time. Before I start folding, I'm stripping my kids' beds so I can put them into wash. I decided to put the clothes away since I'm already in here, and this is where I'll be folding the remainder of the clothing. I'll need the baskets for towels and my clothing that have to go back into my room, so it just made sense.
If you're interested in seeing how I organize my kids' closets and drawers, check out my New Year 2-Day Clean With Me video. I share my process and where things are from. My little Emir is sneaking in cuddles and of course questioning me for milk. He is the most cuddly out of all my kids since he was a baby. He just turned four last month so he's my big baby now. Yes, I still hold him and pick him up often. He's my last baby so I'm taking it all in even though he's super heavy. He settled for some Pocky, that's what I'm eating too, the strawberry flavor. Now I'm showing you in real time how I fold my hand towels. This is what I get questions about the most. I do have a video on my channel dedicated to folding all things except clothing. I'll have to demonstrate that in a future video because you won't be able to pick it up from the time lapse. But how I fold my linens including bedding, fitted sheets, and so on are in that video so I'll link that in the description too. I'm switching out the light load to the dryer now, then putting in the darks. I have some more clean cleaning cloths to fold. Then I'm going back into the girls' room to make their bed and quickly vacuum their floor. And then I'll be back into my room to fold my laundry that's clean so far that I was tossing aside yesterday. I usually fold my laundry last. I did declutter my closet again and decided to put my crop tops and regular basic tees in here now. My leggings are the same, my underwear drawer needs to be organized, it's a hot mess, and a few other at-home clothing like loungewear and pajamas. I'll show you how everything looks at the end. In the corner of my best friend's sofa, you were getting by some rum and cola. Wasn't brave enough yet just to talk to you. Not a smooth talker. Under pressure, sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special. Pretty up from the minute that I met ya.
After the washer machine stopped, I took the bedding out and set them on top of the washer to start the white load, one detergent pod, and some OxyClean to release stains, hot water, high spin, normal soil level, and a normal wash. Now I'm going to fold the light load before steaming the rest of the kids' uniforms. Okay, so here I started the steamer, then I decided to continue folding while it was starting up, which it did, and set off the fire alarm. ADT called me immediately. The kids were terrified. I could not believe I did that. I just turned it off and finished folding, then steamed the clothing. Here's my progress. The bedding is all dry. I did hang it up to air dry just a little bit more since it was slightly damp. Now I'm going to fold the last load of darks and sheets that were on my girls' beds previously. That is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in my next video.